I had a viewer ask a question. Uh, they had a problem with hooking this into the Zoom H26 with a lav mic and it not working. Well, the reason that is because these are uh, essentially when you're using an XLR, you're using a potential for a powered port. That is something that is required for a lot of lav mics that use just this particular cord when it's not hooked up to like a Rode uh, wireless transmitter or anything else. They supply the power to actually run the mic. This does not uh, supply power, nor does it, through this device, uh, transmit power. So you need something like this, which is the Rode XLR to 8 inch uh, adapter. This is about $9, $10 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. This is actually uh, one of the better ones to uh, get. I've tried the Boya. The Boya does not work, so different brand names uh, are iffy, and I did a lot of different testing, but the Rode actually works, and it's cheap enough, so you don't have a problem with that. The thing that you have to do, basically, <clears throat> two different ways. The Zoom mic, if you're using the uh, XY microphone adapter here, which is basically comes off like that, what you get is an input here that is also powered. It's like 2.5 uh, volts. And when you put that in here, it basically cuts off these microphones and just works specifically with the lav mic that's in there. So when I power this on, and you'll see that this is now the tapping. It's definitely, as I talk, I can actually turn it down because it's quite high. So there. And that then is adjusted through this here module on top. It's, it's a pretty cool setup. So if you don't have an adapter, you basically just get the XLR or the XY mics and you've got this built in. So that's a nice little setup. The other thing to do, I'll turn these off is to work the Rode adapter and set it into the XLR. Any one of these four will work. And you have to set up so that it is powered because they're not powered unless you turn it on and set the power for any particular port. And that's basically through, uh, let's see if I can do this upside down here. We're going to go to, <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to phantom power. And you want to make sure that it's turned on for whichever one that you're working. So in this particular case, it's number two, that it is turned on. And I'll just go back. And then you just have to make sure that you have the voltage for that particular one set at 12 volts. If you go up higher, you're going to risk blowing out your microphone. But um, I have done tests on that. It doesn't really blow them out. Uh, it will cause a lot of distortion and it'll probably reduce the lifetime of it. So as long as that's set to 12 volt, you have phantom power turned on, what you get is when I plug this in and we set it to two, now you're gonna get that same because I'm <laughs> ramping that really high. Let's bring that down. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two. So, and tapping it, you can see it absolutely does work. And it's actually a very, very nice and clean signal. Uh, so that is basically how you fix that problem. The little adapter here for the uh, quarter inch to eighth inch adapter doesn't supply the power, but the XLR will, the XLR adapter from Rode. Again, link in the description below and that'll power your microphones that require the power. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to comment in the section below and thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't or if this has helped you in any way. That way the YouTube algorithm will help spread that around and help other people as well. Thank you.